Hello guys, I'm Ijoma and today I'm going to be talking about one thing I wish I knew before studying pharmacy. So pharmacy is this kind of course, it's unlike medicine. Like if you want to do medicine, you have to do a general medicine first before specializing. But pharmacy is quite different. If you want to do pharmacy, it's almost like you are specializing. So before entering into a pharmacy school, you have to first ask yourself like, what field do I want to end up in before studying pharmacy? Do you want to end up in a pharmaceutical industry? Or do you, would you like more of a hospital setting? Or do you want community? This is one thing I wish someone had told me, but I'm here to tell maybe any other person that is considering studying pharmacy. Not every country provides all types of pharmacy degrees, if you understand what I'm saying. There's BSc in pharmacy, there are countries that give masters in pharmacy, there are countries that do PharmD, there are countries that do um, doctor in pharmacy, which is six years old. So you have to know which one you really want to do and check out the countries in the world, especially if you're planning on traveling abroad. You have to check out the countries before deciding where you want to take your your pharmacy course so for instance if you like the hospital setting you want to take a PharmD course or you want to take just straight take a PharmD course some university require that you have done a two-year course a two-year like general course maybe in chemistry biology or whatnot before you enter in the PharmD course which is a four-year course or some school you can just go directly and do the PharmD and then you can work in hospital settings and all that. this doesn't mean that if you own a BSc you cannot work in a hospital but it's more direct like the kind of teachings you receive will be more in the clinical aspect if you want a hospital setting and great places to do that if you're if you're in Nigeria considering a place to go to is in Ghana I know so many people that went to Ghana although the school fees might be expensive but it's worth it even some places here in Nigeria they take those courses but you want to check if those courses if they are accredited if pharmacy course is accredited in that university and most universities that take pharmacy courses that are accredited are the government universities or the of public universities and most times they go on strike which is something you want to put in view when you're going to study pharmacy okay and if you just know you want a bsc course a great place to go and study a bsc course is india guys it was when i went for this um pharmacy school program that i discovered that because there's some places in europe that you do a bsc course you do it five years five years for bsc why in india and india let me tell you something india is one place where we are looking for brains when it comes to medicine and all these pharmaceuticals most drugs say from india are even been imported in nigeria most things from india are even imported in nigeria 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 and India they are great allies so it's a great place to go and study pharmacy when I went for the um, pharmacy school program where um, other pharmacists from diasporas came to write the license exam I discovered that 80 percent of the people there were from India and a great place to also check out for the people that I saw were from Philippines I didn't even know that Philippines even takes people and I heard that it's very cheap that it's as cheap as 400,000 naira per year so you can also check that those places but you have to check one thing you have to check when you're going to abroad universities to check if the university is accredited even a big place like Canada you have to still check if the school is accredited because not all schools in Canada are accredited for you to study also in Cameroon I heard that I like there's some people in that place in that um, program that were from Cameroon and Cameroon is just like not far from here it's in west africa there are not so many people that study pharmacy in ukraine like in my own course throughout my years in pharmacy my five years in pharmacy we were only at first nine only six graduated nine people in the old sets and if you're looking for a pharmacy school if you still want to study pharmacy in ukraine looking for a pharmacy school i advise that you go to akov akov because akov has a old pharmacy institute mainly for pharmacy so you want to put that into consideration when you're going to study in ukraine for instance if you're looking to relocate to Canada, you have like two bases, two licenses you have to write step one and step two. So, if you're someone that wants to relocate to a place like Canada, for instance, you have to check each country and what their requirements is, their license requirements is. So, you have to make sure to write your step one exam when you're in your third year. And before you graduate, try and write the second step. And while you're doing that, start applying for doing your graduation year. This is the best time to actually apply and process your admission or relocate 
education or whatever it is to another country also in canada if you're a pharmacy graduate and you need to study you need to you still want to study farm d they have farm d for pharmacy graduates like some schools offer farm d for pharmacy graduates so if you want that you can do that if you're going into the industry field so after your bsc maybe you want to take a master course or even after your master's like ukraine in some schools in ukraine give masters in ukraine you want to take another master course in management and marketing if you're looking into being like maybe a manager or a ceo in a pharmaceutical industry as a pharmacist too, you can also take public health as your master's so those are the things that i really wish someone had told me i hope this was able to help you if you're a pharmacist or if you have a pharmacist friend and you say oh this person would need this thing i think this would be beneficial for this person do make sure to share so that the person can be aware of this and i hope you're able to take something from this if you love this content make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell to always get this kind of content at your doorstep all right guys until next time do have a nice day bye guys